everyone, I'm Gleekles, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about concepting and creating original art and characters. It was asked if I could please make an anatomy video and a creation video, and I figured this was the best out of those suggestions to do. It's odd because I don't exactly um, make a whole lot of original characters, and I don't make as much original art as I should. Which, this is actually a very good reason why this was a good video for me to make because I enjoy learning and experimenting and sharing that process along with you. So, as I show you a couple of pieces of my sketchbook, you see that anything from characters to myself, to just different things, even prompts, like color prompts, are good ways to plan and sort of get you out of your, you know, whatever sort of muck your mind may be in when it comes to creating original art. The most important thing to do is when you get an idea, write it down. Whether it be, you know, a song or just pops in your head or if you're scrolling on your phone and then all of a sudden oh yeah that's a cool picture that's a cool color I'm gonna save this for later I have an entire stockpile of photos usually I will put all of those photos together and print it out like this for a reference and I'll even go ahead to further take notes on, you know, whatever the paper is, say, oh, I want to use this color palette, oh, I'm going to use this gradient for her hair, you know, just helpful tips and notes for myself, only things to help you out, just sort of create like a collage of inspirations geared towards the subject that you'd like to create. You know, oh, I'm going to use this anchor, I'm going to use this, blah, 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 blah. You get the point. You guys are smart. You get your point. And then, generally, I don't do this, but I wanted to really make sure that I did a good job on this piece. But it might help if you try and get a general idea of what you're going to be painting or coloring or whatever, however you're going to make it. And just maybe do a couple of idea sketches and figure it out. Now these don't have to be incredibly detailed. You're just trying to find yourself and what you like to make. And it also, of course, helps to loosen up a little bit. Now everybody's different. Some people like to just dive right into their drawing, just like me. And I, to be honest with you, usually I never do any sort of, you know, practice drawings beforehand because I'm really impatient and I usually like to get right into my drawing. Um, but for the sake of this video and testing things out, I wanted to do this for you because everybody's different. So you just got to try things. It's important to try things and see what works best for you because if you don't try things, then you're not going <laughs> to you're not going to find golden opportunities to help improve yourself and your art or techniques that are going to help you out and make you in unique to your own special self. But yeah, here I was basically just getting an idea for my little character that I'm going to make. Um, she's going to be a space mermaid. And this, ha this kind of stuff applies to not only just characters, but original art in general. But for the longest time, I've really wanted to make a space mermaid. I know mermaids are incredibly cliche and everybody draws them and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? I said, I want to draw this, so I'm not going to worry about what everyone else is doing. That is key. I think the most important thing to remember when you're making art is worry about yourself. Just worry about yourself. We have enough, to, we have enough things to worry about in the day to day than like adding extra stuff. We already have anatomy. So I have my notes. I have, look, I even print, made reference of myself for my pose. You see that? Don't be ashamed. Take reference of yourself. <laughs> but yeah, grab your friend, grab your family and just make reference. There is no shame in it. Honestly, reference is needed. It's most definitely needed. But anyways, I wanted to do a space mermaid ever since I made my little spooky skeletal mermaid. And I think it was right around the time that I did that fan art for um, Alien and I did Markiplier in there and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do a space mermaid. I don't think I've seen anybody doing. Oh, you want to know what else? Um, Loish, 
she had painted at the same time I had painted Mark um, an astronaut, a beautiful astronaut girl. And I'm like, she's really lovely. And I loved the colors that she used. And I was like, oh my God, Space Mermaid. But I've had this idea in mind for a very long time. And this is also why it's important to write things down because you might not have the perfect direction for where you want to take your idea, your concept, but you may figure it out later. And I know I've mentioned that before, but once again, I'll say it. You might not have the inclination to make your idea now or have it figured out now, but you may figure it out later. The most important thing I do is the collage for the planning stage. Even if you're not gonna do all that drawing that I did ahead of time, um, the collage is only gonna help you, especially when reference is concerned and color palettes are concerned. Um, as usual, I sketched things out lightly. This time I used a watercolor pencil because I'm out of cold erase colored pencils. Now, in the case of the watercolor colored pencil, that light pink is going to wash with whatever colors I use. Kind of, it's gonna mix with my watercolors, but that's okay because it all kind of ties together and it's not very strong. If you don't like that, then I suggest you not use a watercolor colored pencil because it's gonna come out like pigment. But I also chose to outline this with my Micron pen because the pen was light purple and I wanted to try the effect of making my line art all one solid color and having it unify that way, obviously with my pastel piece that I have going on. But I wanted to not only make her a space mermaid, but a fantastic pastel space mermaid. And then, you know, I found out that I'm, more of so one of those people who, while I'm making the piece, that's when I get more of my ideas. So that's why I made the suggestion of trying to sketch it out. But for me, like making those practice sketches, for me though, I found that the more I tried to just practice to do the actual thing, the less excited and the less enthusiastic I was to just paint my original drawing, paint my original drawing, paint my illustration or my concept work. So in my case, from now on moving forward, I think when I have an idea, I'm just gonna run with it and see what happens because I'm probably more inclined to just redo it or do it another way instead of doing so much planning ahead of time that the end result just leaves me feeling exhausted. This isn't to try and discourage you guys from planning in any way, shape, or form. This is just me being honest with you and making a note that everyone is different and everyone has a different personal preference, but you can't learn what your preference is until you try things. So obviously, I, throughout making this entire piece, I'm keeping my inspiration collage on hand at all times in case I get another idea, which I got several, like before I didn't include those little clams, I didn't include the octopus or think of his little space helmet, and I didn't think of the starfish either. And I think also at the end, I didn't think to have her um, creating stars, and then that was something I came up with right at the tail end of everything. So that's why I think I work better while I'm actually doing it and thinking up things on the spot. When With any sort of creation process, especially with illustration, people like to tell you to have a story in hand. And I guess, you know, because it, it makes for more interesting, you know, like what are they doing? Why are they doing it? What is their thought at that time? And it's a lot to think about. It's a little intimidating. And, it, and for me, it kind of impeaches on the creative process. For you, it might not be that way. For you, thinking it out, all of that beforehand might be more beneficial to you than it is to me. Once again, everyone is different. Just figure out what works for you. For me, going with the flow is better, but I'm glad that I planned this out as much as I did so I can make this video and, you know, basically go over it with you guys. But basically what I came, the conclusion that I came to was that no matter what, always need a color palette. <laughs> and a couple of sketches aren't going to hurt you. Um, I enjoy coming up with ideas, you know, while I'm creating my piece, if because you never know what's gonna happen. And it's like, with me, I usually 
figure things out later or like I'll refine things later and you know I don't know I usually have a block when it comes to creating original art but all I did was make a collage of things that made me happy or inspired me um, in the beginning when I was showing you that reaper that I made or that cavewoman girl that I made I was inspired by a song I was inspired by a color palette I was inspired by clothes I was inspired by a picture look go outside read a book watch a movie listen to some music what do you think of when you hear a song does it create a visual image in your head are you creating a little music video um, I mean when you see a picture or a graphic on the internet does it inspire you like oh you know what would look really cool with that is if it looked like this just try things design things make a collection you see I have that little um, collage on the left I have like two of those and usually when I'm on my phone and I'm scrolling the internet or whatever whatever I catches my fancy I save it I save it for later and when I have a fun little thought or idea I write it down and then sooner or later when you're sitting there trying to think of what to work on go through your collab your collaboration go through your collage go through your list see what you can find and put together and you know what else is also helpful go through your old sketches go through the time where you weren't stuck on trying to make something perfect and you never know what you're gonna come up with the important thing is that you just draw and you just paint and you just make art for art's sake. Don't worry about anyone else but yourself. Have fun with it. Do what makes you happy. Create. That's the goal here. And sooner or later, you're going to make something fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.